Hey, it's Rich Allen from SportsBettingProfessor.com, and I'm here again with your hot gambling topic of the week. If you've been paying attention to the NFL lately, you know that there's been a huge controversy about overtime rules and whether or not that they should be changed. Uh, I saw Bob Costas came out, and he says, absolutely, you have to do something more like the college system. And on the other side, you have Roger Goodell, whose argument is, well, if you haven't won the game in the first 60 minutes, then you have no gripes about what happens after that. Now, we'll get to why that's bogus in a second, but my big concern for being in the gambling world is if they do make a change, how is that going to affect the betting lines? Now, the NFL, although it's loath to admit it, they know that a huge part of their popularity has to do with the fact that they're one of, if not the most popular sport to gamble on in the U.S. So, you have to take this into consideration. What happens if you've played an under? on a total, and the game is posted at 42. The score is tied 14-14 after regulation, and we go to a college system. Both teams score a touchdown. You're already up to 42. Both teams kick field goals. Now you're up to 48. Then it gets decided on a field goal. So 51 points on a game that was tied up 14-14 at the end of regulation. That just totally blows it all out of the water. So now, what I suggest is two things. One, it should be changed because the rule as it stands right now if a team wins the coin flip, 60% of the time, they're going to win the game. So you're taking these guys that are battling out for an entire game, and then the coin flip becomes more important than any of the players. So I think that's wrong. But I think if they make a change in the NFL, they absolutely have to go to more like a soccer, a European soccer system, which is games are official after 90 minutes. A lot of those games do end in that amount of time, but any time that there's a possibility of overtime, extra time, or penalty kicks, for gambling purposes, the game is decided after 90 minutes. They're, they're two 45-minute halves. So if the NFL is going to make a change, and college should already be doing this for, their, for gambling purposes. Colleges don't need to do it, but the bookies do. For gambling purposes, the game is over after the first 60 minutes. If it's a tie, whether you had plus three, well, then you're a winner. Over-unders, everything should be decided after the first 60 minutes. So that's where I'm going. That's where I come down on that issue, and I'll be back again soon.